next step in the process is to clean and assemble the project and get it ready for fusing in the kiln. We have all the pieces cut and ready, so it's time to clean them carefully. We use isopropyl alcohol and plain paper towels to remove any traces of stickers, cutting oil, and fingerprints. Any residue left behind can leave a blemish on the finished project, so take your time. Don't forget to wipe the edges as well. One last check to make sure it's clean. It's time well spent at this stage. Before I start to assemble the project, I put down a piece of thin fire paper to prevent the glass from sticking to the kiln shelf during the fusing process. The bullseye paper is kind enough to tell me which side should go down. When the fusing process is complete, the thin fire paper will be no more than dust and will need to be vacuumed from your kiln. When the blank is cleaned and on the thin fire paper, add a drop or two of glass tack to the location where each piece of glass will be put on the second layer. This helps hold the pieces in the correct positions. Clean the pieces one at a time and put them in their approximate positions. I use a thumbnail to scoot them around to try to keep my fingers off of them. The alcohol probably cleans my fingers as well as the glass, but I try to be careful to avoid contaminating the pieces anyway. With all the pieces cleaned and on the blank, it's time to get the positioning as perfect as possible. On this particular project, I use 2mm stringers to get the space in between the four pieces exact. The lines that result from this positioning are critical to the design. When everything meets with your approval, you can either move forward with fusing it or you can cover it and save it for later. I usually cover the project with a paper towel to keep dust from settling on it and creating blemishes. Before I put the piece in the kiln, I remove the stringers I used to help with the layout and control the spacing. It is surprising how careful you have to be to avoid disturbing the pieces. This process may look a bit cautious, but I've found it saves time to be extra careful at this point. One bump or nudge and the pieces move out of position and then you're back to redoing your layout. Move the project to the kiln, lift the edges of the thin fire paper, and carefully pick up the project. Once it's safely in the kiln, you can close the lid. Next up, setting up the firing schedule and starting the fusing process. Mm -hmm.